Hi guys and welcome to another beer review. Today we've got a can of beer from um, Austria. It says it clearly on the can. And uh, yeah, this is from the Beerfog or Beerfog um, Brauhaus. And uh, yeah, a craft can from Austria. Now I've not had any of these beers before, um, and I've not really seen any reviews. Um, well, none spring to mind, but I'm sure this has been covered quite a fair bit here on YouTube. But it's really not doing it any justice. But really cool can, and this is yeah their Tack Pale Ale, uh, clocking in at 5.5 percent with an IBU count of 35. It uh, doesn't actually tell you what hops are in there; just tells you that it's got water, malt, barley, hops and yeast. So um, yeah, I'm sure any information I find will be put down below, especially regarding the artwork on this one. I do like to promote the artists when it's, uh, you know, credit where credit's due, uh, he says with a Jonathan Ross lisp. But um, yeah, really nice looking can. And I'm excited to see what <coughs> Austria is to offer because I think I've only had one other Austrian craft beer. A little bit of action on top of the can. Oh, don't know why I'm getting whiffs of like a, a punk IPA there. Using the girly cocktail glass of doom for this one because I don't really have uh, the best selection of glassware. Even though I did pick up a new glass today in a little Schneiderweiser cult box, it's called. You got four beers, uh, three of them really good ones that I do enjoy, even though they're wheat beers. And a glass as well, so, you know, not too bad. The glass paid for itself, to be honest. Uh, in fact, here's what it looks like. I mean, it's a lovely looking glass, I could use it, but of course it's a wheat glass, and uh, yeah, just give it a bit of a rinse. Anyway, we're here to talk about this beer. So, beer in a glass, I've just poured it straight in. And uh, yeah, that is really nice and hazy, quite opaque actually. You can see nice amounts of carbonation running up to the top of the beer, which all runs up to about just over a finger's worth of maybe ever so slightly off white head. But yeah, that's a nice amber orangey sort of colour, looks like marmalade almost. And uh, yeah, looks actually really quite nice in this glass. Um, I'm not really seeing too many bits and bobs in there maybe just a few flecks or that just could be the terrible condition of my glass well i do not know anyway it looks really really nice let's see what it smells like see if i can give this a twizzle i don't know it's such an awkward one to do there we go i said it smelled like punk ipa it's got more of like a like a west coast bitterness to it Definitely get a tropical hop note there. You know, lychee, grapefruit especially. There's like a slight dankness there as well, slight resiny sort of quality. A little bit of skunk, not you know skunked beer, but you know skunk. Not that I know anything about that, of course. But yeah, nice and tropical. Really, really lovely smelling beer. Not like punchy or vibrant, but it is a strong smelling beer. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you could just sit there and sniff it all day. Which I know there are some sick bastards out there who do that. Unnecessarily vulgar. I apologise about that. Oh, that's lovely. The more I smell it, the more I'm really enjoying it. Let's just hope the aroma and the appearance matches the taste, or I should say. The taste matches the aroma and appearance. Let's find out. Prost. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. It's a bit more fruity on the mouthfeel. Not like one of these uh, more contemporary, juicy... IPAs. It's still got that that bitterness there throughout the beer. Gets a bit stronger on the back end, but it's really really nice. It complements the flavors really beautifully. You know, I said it, it wasn't really fruity. It's like a quite bittered fruit juice. 
Get a bit of orange there on the flavour, a little bit of mango, slight hint of grapefruit, maybe a little touch of blueberry, strawberry, that sort of thing. But then you've got this really nice, somewhat floral and medicinal bitterness on the back end, which just cuts through the flavour really nicely. Those flavours are really complemented each other perfectly. What was the bitterness on this one? 35. It tastes maybe a little bit more than that. For my palate anyway. Not that I'm complaining because that's a nice, <laughs> excuse me, crisp. Nice medium outfill to it as well. But the carbonation comes through really, really nicely. Not too aggressive, but not too lacklustre. It's like spiciness as well, right at the front. And then it just becomes a little bit more juicy. That's so nice and quaffable. That's such a lovely pale ale. Um, could it border on being an IPA? Maybe ever so slightly. I wouldn't be able to pinpoint why I feel that. But it just feels a bit more like it's got a bit more oomph to it. I find that IPAs have a little bit more oomph and character than a pale ale. But then again, part of me is thinking, Pete, you're just talking absolute crap. Um, well, I've built you know my 100 plus subscribers on that now. Um, thank you, by the way, everyone who's stood by me. Um, yeah, that, that's just a lovely, lovely beer. As you can see, I've nearly finished it already. I'm trying to save this one because I've got a beer chat tonight. Um, yeah, I I do this. I like to say I'm going to pick three beers and I'll review them before I go online and then I can just drink them throughout the chat. And then I just end up raiding one of the beers I've got. So I'll probably end up doing a few more beer reviews tonight. But um, yeah, I think I paid like about €3.45 for this can. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, bought this from Beretta. And I've seen a few of their cans in that shop. Um, love Beretta, as you guys know. Um, I've got a whole playlist of all the beers that I've bought from Beretta. But yeah, I wish I didn't... It, it, just nice if they tell me what hops are in this. It might be there, but I don't think so. Um, it's just the same writing in different languages, so I'm guessing this is somewhat easy to come by. I mean, yeah, Bira Chivetza, and you can drink it from the can. Alcohol, 5.5% volley. Craft beer, beer, pivo, beer. Um, yeah, bivog. Tack, pale ale. Beautiful stuff. Really, really damn good. Um, yeah, it's going to sound so niggledy, but with a little bit of lack of info on there, I mean, best before date is 12th of December 2017, and it says cheers on there, which is nice. That's a nice touch. But, um, yeah, aside from not having the recipe on there, which, you know, some breweries just don't do that, I can't fault that beer. That's absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, definitely a 9 out of 10 from me. Um, it's just niggledy things that are preventing this from being a full 10 out of 10. Um, as shallow as that sounds. But um, bottom line is, if you come across this beer, do yourselves a favour and check it out because it's a damn good one. And um, yeah, I sometimes find that pale ales can be a bit wishy-washy. Most beers can be, we all know that. But um, I'd rather go for an IPA than a pale ale but this has some IPA qualities to it which is working for my palate but I suppose I could I'm just prolonging this video aren't I Do you know what? it's a 9 out of 10 almost a faultless faultless pale ale great introduction to a brewery that I will be trying more of their beers in the future speaking of which if you've tried any of these guys beers then let me know which ones I should look out for next time I'm in Beretta or wherever because um, I want to try more of these um, yeah, really in intrigued about Austria's craft brewing scene. I know there's some, you know, quite a few really nice breweries over there. And it's not too far away from me uh, being here in Germany. So, uh, yeah, 9 out of 10. Uh, check out Bivog down below. If any of uh, my people I've subscribed to have reviewed this, that link will be down below. And, uh, yeah, beautiful little beer. And off to a good start this evening. Let's hope it'll last. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you in the next beer review. Cheers, guys.